Hello, I am Dr. Erling Sundrehagen, the scientific officer at Gentian Diagnostics. Today, I have the pleasure of presenting this webinar on the clinical value of cystatin C testing. This is the second webinar in our cystatin C series. Cystatin C was Gentian's first product launched in 2006. I will first give a short summary of the determination of glomerular filtration rate, often abbreviated to GFR. I will then focus on the clinical value of the cystatin C protein and its properties before moving on to the topic of interference and avian antibodies. Lastly, I will talk about the benefits of adding cystatin C to creatinine in clinical practice. The determination of glomerular filtration rate is important because the GFR is the very best way to measure how well a patient kidneys function and determining at what stage of kidney disease the patient is in. Specifically, it estimates how much blood that passes through the glomeruli each minute. Glomeruli are the tiny filters in the kidneys that filter waste from the blood. Over the years, different methods of determining a patient's GFR have been established. Creatinine clearance was first described as a marker for GFR in 1926 by Dr. Reberg, and in 1935, the first paper on measured GFR by injecting inulin and measuring the excreted amount of inulin in the urine was published. At the same time, Dr. Smith and Dr. Shannon published an article where they conclude that there are significant drawbacks in the use of creatinine as tubular secretion of creatinine reduces the accuracy of EGR based on creatinine to determine kidney function. A simple automated assay for measuring cystatin C was developed in 1994. Despite all the observations of Homer Smith and James Shannon, creatinine is presently the second most common analyte used in laboratory medicine, second only to hemoglobin demonstrating the requirement of knowledge of GFR in practical medicine. The gold standard method for determining GFR is by direct measurements. This is done by injecting into the patient a chemical substance and then collecting the urine over a set time period and the quantifying the method of the chemicals excreted. This is an expensive, time consuming and laborious method and its use is limited. Estimated GFR is an estimation of the GFR by measuring a biomarker in a blood sample. Two well-documented biomarkers are cystatin C and creatinine, and the estimated GFR is determined by entering the biomarker concentration into an equation. Gentian cystatin C correlates very well with the gold standard method for measuring GFR. The gold standard method is often injection of IOHEXO 
and measuring the clearance of the iohexyl molecules into the urine. In this study, 160 patient samples were collected. The creatinine levels plotted against the iohexyl clearance on the graph to the left and cystatin C levels determined by the gentian assay is plotted against the iohexyl clearance on the right. As you can see from the graphs, the correlation of cystatin C with an R, R squared of 0 0.957 is far superior to the correlation of the creatinine values where R squared is 0 0.783. During the early onset of chronic kidney disease, only cystatin C is able to detect changes in kidney function through recognized EGFR equations. Cystatin C is able to capture the risk before the onset of the chronic kidney disease as currently defined by creatinine. CKD is defined as estimated GFR less than 60 milliliter per minute on the standardized surface body area of 1.73 square meters. The preclinical phase is determined as a patient having EGFR based on creatinine above 60 and a cystatin C measurement above one. Normal kidney function is when the EGFR based on creatinine is above 60 and cystatin C levels are less than 1.0 milligram per liter. We are now going to look into the clinical value of cystatin C. All nucleated cells produce cystatin C, and cystatin C is released into the blood constantly as a result of this production. The cystatin C is then filtered by the kidneys with no tubular secretion. Cystatin C level can easily be used to estimate the estimated GFR by the use of an equation. Cystatin C provides added value when determining the GFR, as the cystatin C values are independent of race, independent of protein intake, gender, muscle mass, and age. Cystatin C has also demonstrated a clinical value in predicting hospitalization, death, and end-stage renal disease that is superior to the predictive values of creatinine. An excellent example is an, it's a study carried out at the Mayo Clinic that has demonstrated that adding cystatin C to their testing regimen can be significantly improving the drug dosing of medications that are nephrotoxic and or eliminated through the kidneys. Cystatin C measurements can improve the treatment of all patients. At the same time, there are certain patient groups that where cystatin C measurements are even more important. Because cystatin C is independent of muscle mass and varies less with age and gender than creatinine, children and amputees will have a more accurate estimated GFR when cystatin C is used. Drugs excreted by the kidneys 
can be more accurately dosed if the cystatin C is included in evaluating the patient's kidney function. This part of the webinar will focus on the quality of the gentian cystatin C assay and the benefit of using avian antibodies. The gentian cystatin C assay was a part of the RING study published in 2014. 123 labs participated, all measuring four samples. The four samples had different concentrations, and the cystatin C concentration is plotted against the y-axis and the different assays are stated on the x-axis. Please note that the y-axis has a different scale for each sample and that the values are in milligrams per liter. Sample C and D had the set value traceable to the ERMDA471 IFCC reference material shown in the dotted line. Gentian was the assay with the lowest between labs results for all samples and was very accurate in setting the value of samples C and D. Other providers only include their own brand instruments in the testing, whereas Gentian's assay is instrument independent. Looking at all the four samples, Gentian's cystallion C assay demonstrated excellent precision. On this slide, you can see a schematic picturing of the avian antibody IgY and the human antibody IgG and the structural differences between the two. I will now explain how it, this affects interference of the assay. The complement system is part of the immune system that enhances the ability of antibodies and phagocytic cells to clear microbes and damaged cells from an organism, promote inflammation and attack the pathogen cell membranes. The complement system can be recruited and brought into action by the antibodies. The complement system interferes with binding of antibodies and molecules, which is part of the signal system of the immunoassay used in, to quantify circulating antigens. A good example is methods used to quantify circulating antigens like cystatin C proteins, and thus interfere with the results of immunoassay quantification methods. The immune system of birds Avians does not have complement systems, and interference from complement systems molecule is therefore avoided when immunoassays like the gentian cystatin C assay based on the avian antibodies are used instead of the mammalian immunoassays. Here you can see examples of complement interference such as FC receptors, human anti-mouse antibody, and rheumatoid factor. These are quite common, and 5 to 40% of healthy individuals have these present in their samples. On the right-hand side of this slide, you see results from a study by Larson et al. in 1988, where interference from a rheumatoid factor was demonstrated. In this study, 19 samples from patients with a positive test for RF factor uh, were compared to 10 samples from patients that had tested negative. Interference was observed for all 19 positive samples when mammalian antibodies were used, but not for avian antibodies. 
no interference was seen in negative samples. The gentian cystatin C assay is made from avian antibodies, ensuring that no complement interference from proteins like rheumatoid factor is present. The gentian cystatin C assay is standardized against the ERM material from the IFCC. In fact, it was one of the assays used to standardize the turbidimetric quantification of cystatin C. Gentian cystatin C assay is CE mark and 510K cleared and available on a wide range of clinical analyzers with high inter-instrument accuracy. The assay also avoids interference due to being made from avian antibodies, and both the NICE and the KDAJU guidelines recommend measurement of cystatin C. Cystatin C has several advantages over creatinine. At the same time, creatinine is also a valuable marker and the best results are therefore when we use cystatin C and creatinine measurements together. Accuracy improves if both cystatin C and creatinine are measured and this is especially important when GFR influences the dosing of the important medications. The gentian cystatin C method is of value in the presence of confounding factors like high protein diet or when the patient's muscle mass is outside the norm. Caution should be used when it is a thyroid patient or the patient is on a high doses of glucocorticoids where the creatinine measurements can help achieve the correct GFR estimation. To conclude this webinar, I would like to sum up the reasons to use gentian cystatin C assay. Cystatin C is independent of the patient muscle mass. There is no need to adjust for ethnicity when an accurate estimated GFR is needed for drug dosing, meshing cystatin C can be especially beneficial. Thank you for your attention. Here is the reference list used to prepare this webinar. And if you want to know more about champion cystatin C or other or our other products, feel free to contact us as marketing at gentian.com or take a look at our other webinars. Thank you.